Hello, welcome back my beautiful people. So before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video. So we can go ahead and get started with this beautiful cut crease. And here we go, see ya. So I started off with a shape tape concealer. So like a really light base, that way the colors can show up more on your eyelid. And I'm taking my EYN palette by Beauty Bay and my Morphe M506 brush and we're going to concentrate it on the outer part and kind of work ourselves in. And you kind of want to blend it a little bit, not much. We're not going to worry about blending much right now. And yes, we do look a little crazy, but it's going to look good once we're finished. So I went ahead and dipped my brush again in the same color. And now I'm just going to bring it to my inner corner of my eye and just follow those steps. Now I'm gonna avoid the center right here because um, as you can see, we're gonna cut it and we want it nice and white for us. And now we're gonna concentrate it right on this brow bone a little bit. What we want is for the color to be vibrant like right here in your crease. And we're just gonna keep packing that on. So do not be afraid to pack on the color because that is what's gonna help your um, eyeshadow stand out. So as you can see, I'm kind of making tapping movements. That way it can show up. Because if I blend in here, then the color is gonna be blended and it's not gonna show up as much. So you wanna concentrate on blending more out here than on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna use my six plus brush to dip into the next color. I'm going to take the color Daydream. We're gonna put it right. So we're not gonna go up here. We're gonna go like kind of touching the blue color. So we're just gonna blend that out. So the key is to just keep blending. I, I know a lot of people don't have patience to just blend, 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 but if you want your eyeshadow to look good, you have to blend, like you really do. It's just the key to your good eyeshadow. Okay, so now to put everything together, I'm taking a clean brush and it's the Morphe E23. I like to tilt my head to the side so I can see um, what I'm blending on this side. So this is gonna really bring everything together. So this is basically just gonna make sure everything, all your edges and stuff like that are blended. Okay, so for when you cut your crease, just make sure you take your time and try to compare it to the other eye so you can get an even cut crease. And to cut my crease, I'm using the same concealer that I used in the beginning, which is Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. And I'm applying that with a number 18 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my favorite brush to cut my crease because it's really nice and thin. I like to bring my concealer all the way down to like the outer corner of my eye right here just because when I place the other color, it's gonna blend in really nicely with the white. And it doesn't have to be perfect here because we're gonna blend that out anyways. Okay, so now that we cut our crease, it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. Um, the only part that I would really worry about is right here, and then this part's gonna be blended out anyways. So I'm gonna take 
um, my 6 plus brush um, and I've already dipped it in the Pacific Dreams color and we're going to concentrate that right on the outer corner here and we're gonna do like padding movements and you want to go ahead and dip this in a couple times just to get that look you want that blended out look and then slowly you're gonna start bringing it in Okay, so once that's like blended in nicely, we are going to take the color Daydream again and we are going to kind of blend that out into the lid. We are going to blend that blue that we place and we're gonna blend towards the inner corner of the eye. So I'm using another um, 6 plus brush and this one's more like a flat brush. I'm going to dip into the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and the color is called Blue Ice. Okay, and now we're going to use our Pretty Rich palette by Too Faced and we're going to use the color Diamond Life. And this glitter is everything. I love this glitter. You're just going to place that all over your lid. Okay, we're going to use this color Picture Perfect from Trend Beauty. And I love this icy blue because it's going to give it that great bluish effect that I'm looking for. So see, it makes it look a little bit more bluish, which is super pretty. For our lower lash line, we're going to go back in the EYN palette and use Pacific Blue. And we're going to take a white eyeliner. This one is by NYX. Okay, so now for the little rhinestone, I just put some eyelash glue on the back of it and I'm picking it up with my white eyeliner because the waxiness of it gives it a good stick on. So you can get these little rhinestones like on Amazon, eBay. For our inner corner highlight, I'm going into the Moonchild palette by Anastasia and we're gonna use the color blue ice. All right, so I went ahead and took off the rhinestones because I wasn't feeling them. So I'm just going to line my lips with ColourPop's BFF. So I'm gonna use Snow Sparkle. I just used Kylie's High Gloss in Daddy's Girl to tone it down just a tad bit. So we used the Anastasia Dewy Set Spray and I'm taking Moon Child by Anastasia and we're going to use Blue Eyes. Too much highlight on the nose. <sighs> okay guys, that completes the look. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And let me know down in the comments below if you were able to recreate this look. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and see you later. Bye!